boys and girls, welcome back. Panic 13 here, and what I'm doing today is sharing with you my Natalia's Lightning build. Basically, tomorrow or maybe later on today, depending what country you're in, I'll be doing the Natalia set dungeon. So, before I do that, I want to go through the current build that I'm using for Natalia set, and we're going to get right into this. Basically, for skills, we've got Evasive Fire for Hatred Regen, Strafe for that constant damage with Drifting Shadow. So, key. Key, uh, key note here, Drifting Shadow Lightning Damage. Smoke Screen Deplacement for that mobility and getting out of hairy situations. Companion with Woof for extra damage. Preparation for a bit of extra discipline when we, when we run out because when this isn't Unhallowed Essence where your discipline is pretty much unlimited, we do run out of discipline if you use Smoke Screen quite often. So this will come in handy. And Reign of Vengeance, obviously our primary damage dealer. Awareness for survivability as always. Steady aim for extra damage with, uh, from a distance. Color of the weak ex extra damaged, uh, damaged extra damage against slowed enemies, which our Templar will be taking care of for us and doing a great job of it. And ambush for extra boost damage against new enemies that you attack or above 75% health. Now, what I mentioned here about my Templar is... He's equipped with Thunder Fury and very importantly a uh, relic where you get the uh, follower cannot die buff. Now with our Thunder Fury basically when you hit an enemy it has a chance to uh, skip over to other enemies and jump up to five targets with each hit which is pretty good. But the reason that's good is because with Intimidate here which slows down enemies that also skips or goes across to five additional enemies with each hit. So as they're slowed down and I'm spamming my strafe and, and doing uh, doing a reign of vengeance it'll do extra damage against these slowed enemies so that goes hand in hand color of the weak and bane of the trapped here our gem might as well talk about gems while we're talking about that gem we also use zay's stone of vengeance and taeguk all right set items head chest hands pants feet and natalia's slayer as always the one-handed crossbow and we use calamity in the offhand focus and restraint as always and pauldrons of the skeleton king for that extra survivability so you pretty much get awareness twice save your life and with your locket or your sorry your amulet what you want to do is have something with lightning damage preferably 20 percent high crit and high crit damage all right high crit chance high crit damage preferably a hellfire amulet if you can be bothered farming it which i haven't done yet but i'm doing ptr so it's all good i'm having fun Wraps of Clarity as always to reduce damage taken and we want Lightning damage for this as well by 20%. I've got 19, but that's okay as well. You get 20%. I think that pretty much covers it for gear, guys. Oh, most importantly, Crashing Rain Belt for that Crashing Beast that deals some huge damage every time you use Rain of Vengeance. Alright, lastly, before we get stuck into more set dungeons, I just want to get stuck into set dungeons right now. PTA is awesome. Canice Cube, what we want to be using is Fulminator for that extra lightning damage that pulses and skips to different enemies, which is absolutely overpowered. Make sure you have Fulminator. Now, a good way to get this as well is if you start a Barbarian. Uh, this will probably never drop if you just keep playing a Demon Hunter. I found out the hard way. I was 800 Paragons and I still didn't get one, so I went over to a Barbarian, created him, leveled him up in a few hours, and before you knew it, I had this within hours within a day it took me about a day hexing pants of mr yan and if you're doing great over rifts unity definitely if not convention of elements for extra damage and basically as we're strafing keep using evasive fire to keep your hatred up and as often as we can we'll be doing grand adventures obviously using wolf for damage whenever we hit an elite pack or whenever we want to do extra damage and smoke screen for when we're in trouble but this is only pretty much, you'll only have to use uh, smoke screen and Wolf if you're doing greater rifts. Um, or Nephilim rifts really, but as far as I can see so far, dungeon sets, set dungeons are not an issue. I just obliterate everything in there. So make sure you tune back in tomorrow and I will be doing the Natalia set dungeon. Thank you boys and girls.